Hey everyone, Iran Hemi here in the Faro Valley neighborhood. I think after talking about it for almost a decade, people are aware of the Barisi Village project that takes place on this land right behind me, an abandoned golf course. Well, now there's a new development when it comes to financing the project, and it starts with creating a tax increment reinvestment zone around this area. Let me tell you all about it. It's a really important step, and in a lot of ways, it kind of feels like a, a, a big first step for us. Developer Jeff Blackard and his company have proposed a tax increment reinvestment zone to help with the cost of building Barisi Village. And here is a look at what that will look like. It would be built in five phases across that overgrown green space and include multifamily homes, single family homes, restaurants, a hotel, a par three executive golf course, and more. It's gonna be designed like a like an Italian village, you know. Pretty much everything we do right now is uh, is about you know making these places feel like places people want to be and live and come to. A tax increment reinvestment zone or TERS uses the property taxes in a specific area and works like this. A designated area is set, then a base year is set. For example, say $1,000 in taxes is collected in that base year in that area. Going forward, any taxes collected after the $1,000 is put into the TERS fund. In this case, the TERS fund would be used just for Barisi Village. The developer is requesting a contribution from the city um, of 95% of the tax increment created over the first 10 years, dropping down to 75% over the next five years, dropping down to 50% over the next three years, and finally ending the last two years at 25 percent. The overall estimated value of the village is somewhere between $800 million and $1 billion. The city's contribution would be small when looking at that overall value. It'd be around $42 million. Corpus Christi staff say they would recommend creating the TERS if another taxable entity joins in. Blackard Companies has spoken with Nueces County and Del Mar College to join in on the TERS and have received positive feedback. They are planning on speaking more with them in the coming weeks. Jeff Blackard says things could start moving around here in about six months. However, there are still many hurdles to get over. Council will need to establish this TERS. A TERS board will need to be seated. The project will need to be approved by the TERS board and city council in a few different meetings. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Aaron Hammy, Chris 6 News.